Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is part two of the Reg Rectifier uh, replacement. Um, as I said in the previous episode, what we're going to do uh, in this one is I'm going to create a mounting plate in order to make the Syntogen um, regulator fit the frame of the VFR. Um, obviously, the uh, the shape of the stock Reg Rec is not the same as the Syntogen one. So what we need to do is just basically make a, spli uh, a small adapter plate so that it will bolt up fine and uh, be held securely on the frame. So uh, what I need to do first is obviously um, get at the Reg Rec, which is on this side of the bike, about to the frame, just down here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this, plant, this panel out of the way. Uh, so let's get it whipped off and uh, look at what we're going to be doing. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Okay, a few bolts just to whip out, just to uh, get the panel off. And that's that. Uh, let's put that to one side so it doesn't get damaged. Okay then, so uh, with the panel out of the way, obviously we've, uh, we can get right in here and see what we're looking at. And this is the regulator rectifier under here. So let's undo this cable clip, pop them out of the way. Let's pop them up, up there. Right then, so under here we can see the connections going into the regulator and they come down into the loom in these these two big plugs here. This one is the one that goes to the stator, it's got yellow wires on it as you can see. And then this one here is the one that goes off into the loom for the battery etc etc. So what we need to do is pull back the pull back the sheath and disconnect them both and these sheaves are quite stiff because they've been on air a little while but we'll get there in the end start with this one because this was probably a little bit easier getting to and I'm seeing evidence of a little bit of a little bit of charring that feels a bit like it's been burnt so I think we may be catching this at the right time We'll have, a, we'll have a good inspection of that once we've got it off the bike. And this one is a bit, of a, a bit more of a pain to get apart because I can't quite get the sheath off. Come on. What I'll do, instead of boring you to tears with it, is I'll bring you back in once I've uh, once I manage to open it up and get it off the uh, and get it off the connector, I'll bring you back in in a sec. Right then, got it apart. Connectors apart. Um, yeah, uh, a little bit of corrosion in there. The, those those pins aren't as clean as they could be. Um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be cleaning up this connector um, 
covering it up to weatherproof it so that uh, water can't get into it and all that sort of thing because we're not going to actually need to use this connector again um, once we've carried up the upgrade. Um, one thing I will be doing is I'm going to, uh, I've got a little mod that I want to add to this bike which will use this connector but I'll reveal that in a future video. It's quite a, quite a cool little thing that I'm going to be doing with it and hopefully you'll, uh, you'll find it quite interesting. Um, as for this, let's uh, get, once we get it off the bike we'll, uh, we'll uh, have a good inspection of this because um, that obviously is a cause for concern. But what we need to do first is get the, uh, get the reg rack off the bike. There's a couple of little bolts here, so uh, let's whip them off and uh, away we go. The right one is out. Yeah, a little eight mil, a little eight mil bolts. Mm. A bit awkward getting in there, but this moves around so. Let's pop them down one side. There should be some little, there's like a little plate behind it. There it is. Obviously that is the uh, the mounting for the for the fairing as well. So we need to keep that to one side. And then it's a case of pulling the regulator rectifier up. And there we go. That's it removed. Um, what we'll... Uh, what I think we'll do is um, have a look at this uh, connector and see where the scorchings come from. And then after that, what we'll do is we'll formulate a plan for uh, making our backing plate. Okay, I think what I'm going to do first, before we go any further, is just investigate this scoring, or charring, should I say, on the... Uh, on this, just to see if I can see any evidence of anything. Obviously, it's a bit of a pain in the ass to open it like that stuff without cutting it. I don't particularly want to cut it open if I can avoid it. I do, I do want to see what's going on. Interestingly enough, I can't actually see anything on the on the connector itself, which is uh, a bit odd. Mm. Okay. Okay then. The aim of this game is effectively to convert this into this. Now, obviously. As you can, as you can well see there, the holes between the two don't, aren't even close to lining up. So what we need to do is effectively use this panel, this uh, plate aluminium, to uh, make an adapter effectively using a few little nuts. Well, I'll probably use is some uh, countersunk machine screws. That way um, they won't protrude up for the edge of the plate. So what I'll do, I will start off by just drawing around this. Obviously, I've got no plans for this, so it's. Uh, a case of uh, winging it and seeing what happens really. Um, what I do need to do, actually, because I can't get the pen down the uh, down the holes, is I am just going to mark the hole positions with my scriber. And there they are, so we can see them. Uh, right, so what we want to be doing really is if I can avoid if I could it'd be ideal if I could make one of them match, but that's half over that one. So what I'll probably do Hmm, let's have a think. I wonder if it'd be worth 
perhaps cutting this plate out, making this plate so it bolts to the bike and then bolt that directly onto it. Afterwards, I reckon that might be a winner. Let's, let's give that a go, I think. Yeah, I think that's going to be uh, with my pen fit down the old. Nope. Right, let's mark these ones in. That's uh, going to be a good start. So what I need to do is cut down these lines, drill four holes out, get the file out, and just dress it off nicely. Uh, but yeah, I think we'll uh, I think we'll uh, be on a winner there. Okay, let's get it cut out. A bit of tissue in here, seeing as um, unfortunately my. Uh, My vice grips fell to pieces, and I haven't, uh, I haven't done anything to replace them as yet. So I'm just gonna use a small piece of tissue for now. What I'll do, I'll cut this out. I'll bring you back in when I'm done. Okay. So that's the uh, that's the edges cut off. Uh, it's a little bit it's a little bit hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it back into the uh, back into the vice. What I'm going to do is I am going to just dress up the ends. Just to remove any bears. I'll do this all the way around. That's it, that's one done. Three to go. What I'll do, I'll do the other three and I'll bring you back in. Right then. That is all four sides nicely uh, filed down. I've put a slight radius on the corners as well um, just to. Uh, stop any sharp edges but other than that i think we're good to go what i'm going to do now is um just double check these and then uh, i'm going to drill them so uh what i'll do i'll use the pillar drill um, first thing i need to do though is get the zx9r out of the way but uh yeah stick with us and we'll uh, we'll get the hills drilled right then so place ready to go i've got the holes all marked where they're going to be um obviously i need to uh i need to drill them out the original bolts that hold the original rec rectifier to the to the frame are m6 uh, M6 by 1.0. So, um, but what I need to do is I need to countersink these into the plate. So I need to get some. I have uh, looked through my bolt box and I can't find any uh, that I, th I thought I actually had a stack of them uh, already, but I don't. So I need to order some. Um, so yeah, M6 that are going to go through and hold the plate countersunk to the uh, to the bike frame, and then likewise I need to do the same coming through from the other way in order to mount this reg rectifier that way. Okay then. So what I need to do is uh, drill them out. I'm going to uh, drill out the holes to M6 first.
Okay, so there you go, M6 holes with a light countersink. Uh, hopefully that will uh, that will be more than adequate for the uh, countersunk bolts uh, once they arrive. So what I need to do is exactly the same uh, with these two holes. However, these two need to be countersunk from the other side. So I will drill them this way first. In fact, what I'll do is I'll deburr. Uh, I'll deburr this side so that I've got a bit from this side first and then I will tip them over to do the countersink. Counter sinks from the other side. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to go on the internet. I'm going to order up some uh, order up some bolts. Hopefully they'll arrive within the next couple of days. I will see you then. Take it easy. Right then, guys. Um, it's been a couple of days, as you can see. I've grown a beard, um, but what's uh, what I've got now is I've. Uh, got the bolts, the nuts, spring washers, all that good stuff. What I've done is I've taken the liberty of um, bonding two of the bolts into the plate uh, so that it was all set and everything ready for me to be able to film this part of the video and bolt it up to the bike. Um, all I've done is I've literally used Gorilla Glue to fix them in place. Bit, um, it's a bit Heath Robinson, I, I understand that. However, it's perfectly good for, for what we're gonna be doing here. It will, it will be perfectly fine. Um, as you can see, what we're going to do is this bolt the, the, we'll bolt the plate to the bike, and then the reg rec will be bolted to the to the plate, just like so. What I'm going to do, the bolts that are going to go through into the bike, I am going to use thread lock on because I don't want them wi uh, winding out of the bike. Um, and as you can see, I'm using spring washers uh, with the nuts to hold the reg rec to the uh, to the plate. So um, without further ado, let's uh, let's crack on and get it bolted up to the bike and see what see what we got. Okay then, so let's uh, let's get her bolted up to the bike. What I want to do is I want to get all this wiring and cabling out of the way um, because at the moment it's covering the, the working area. Um, a bit dusty in there. Okay, Ooh. right then, this is where we are. And this is where we want to be. So the plate's going to bolt up just like that dead straightforward so what I'm going to do first things first a little bit of Loctite on each of the bolts so that they don't so that they don't work the way out again 
Come on. There we go, that's one. And two. Oops. Birds rapid, right. Okay, let's get the plate bolted up to the bike. As you can see, the countersinks mean that the bolts don't sit proud of the plate and interfere with the regulator rectifier once we bolt it up. Getting up to touch by hand. Obviously, you don't want to cross thread these. Okay, just nip them. Give them a little nip. Don't have to be. Don't over tighten them. Just a little nip, just like that. Should be fine. We've got the thread lock on there. They should be all good. Okay, so there we are. So far, so good. Uh, looking pretty decent. Right, regulator rectifier. On there just like so get a spring washer on and a nut that's one this one's a little bit more awkward to get into Just a little nip up, they don't have to be over tight. And there we go. And that, guys, is the job done. Right, looking pretty decent, okay. Um, all we need to do next is uh, obviously connect the, uh, connect the regulator rectifier up to the bike. So, uh, obviously, that's going to be uh, that's going to be in the next episode. Um, I'm going to uh, get that filmed and get that uploaded as soon as I can, um, and then uh, hopefully you'll uh, hopefully you'll um, find that very very useful. Hopefully, you found this video useful. Um, you know, it's not it's nothing uh, it's nothing um, too technical. It's literally just a piece of five mil aluminium plate that I've just trimmed to trimmed to to the size that I need it to be and then drilled, drilled four holes in it with the count sinks. Um, you know, no one's going hunt, hunting at Cape Canaveral for somebody to do this for them. Everybody should be able to achieve this. It's just uh, uh, a hacksaw and a drill. That's all you need. Okay, guys. So, hopefully you found it useful. Um, if you haven't seen uh, the first episode, then uh, have a look through the playlist and go back and have a look at that um, for a catch-up. Um, but stay tuned for the, uh, for the next episode. See you all again very soon, guys. Bye-bye now.